What's up everyone? This is JD Curry. I'm going to do an investigation today, a quarantine investigation by myself in a very remote place. It's called the Sprug Cemetery. I'm not sure if I can pronounce that correctly, but um so I've switched over to IGTV for the investigations. But I'm still doing YouTube videos with the basics of paranormal investigations. So, once you have checked this out, make sure to go to the other, to my YouTube channel. You can go there and watch a few of those, a few of those videos. They're supposed to be shorter, they're supposed to be easier to watch, they're supposed to be more fun to watch. And they train you in how to investigate a location so I will also put a try to do some kind of link to the page at the end of this video okay get ready because this is gonna be a great investigation <laughs> Here's this beer here, can you touch this device? Can you touch this device if there's a spear here? And also you can say a word into this. Down, okay, down where? Underground? Are you feeling down? Okay, so there's several different like, gravestones here. Seeds. So, get this like, growling thing going around. This is really old gravestones, you can tell because of this right here. This style is quite old. It says 1834. Spree are you here, Spree So it's more active for the bag of this. This is actually located in this and this is quarantine time when the coronavirus is going on. So if you're going to come out here to an investigation, probably put it on IGTV because uh, I'm recording straight like vertical. Yeah, there's a very high presence button towards the back here. Stones. Serious spirit here. Are you near the water? It's quite beautiful out here. The frogs are out and everything. 
obviously no people are out because of the quarantine. They're quite a ways away. A child, did you lose a child? Is that why there's a tiny gravestone? I honestly can't read anything off of that gravestone. It's okay, so it's going to be reminded here. Believe him. Believe him. Your child. Are you talking about your child? Brady. Is there somebody here named Brady? It's kind of just out here. go down by the water and see if there's any spirits down there. Ashley. Okay, is there an Ashley here? These gravestones are so old you can't even tell if there is a name on any of them. Except for the one at the very end there. Spirits down here. There's pretty high energy. Brad. Is there somebody? What have you What of you? Is there really any way to make this thing here? No, oh, there's some okay. Are were you Native Americans? Were you the first ones here? Or or is this a recent a recent cemetery. It's so peaceful. I definitely recommend if you live near a state park or have a state park to go to you to go to one of these state parks. Just remember to stay quite a bit of a distance away from other people not to make a mistake. 
otherwise, I would definitely recommend getting out of here. The woods are the most relaxed that they ever have been. Um, if you're staying at Alfred State right now, this place is not a far away. It's about six minutes away from Alfred State. I would definitely recommend it. guys continue to drive around. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. But it's the same makeup car at least. I'm gonna go back to the cemetery, see if I get any more and then wrap it up. So Ashley and Brad, were you guys married? Seeing how many vehicles pass by this place, if all this cemetery, if you're gonna come. I see it. this cemetery, I would recommend. Well, it's not the best one. I'm not sure how it would be at night. At night. Love. Are there two lovers buried here? Such a time still. Right immediately after I wrapped up the investigation, I found a geocache, actually. This is my first geocache. I didn't realize it was here. I thought it was a bomb at first. I'm like, I'm not going to be blown up. So I had to try to open it with a stick. I couldn't open it, obviously. But I got to the point where... If I enough times, it's not going to blow up. And then I decided to open the thing. 